Okay, so he's yeah. Oh, he's quite young there. Look, he hasn't got the grey hair. We need a less old man voice. <laughs> the lighthouse still bolded up. Crikey nutcrackers! You aren't Australian. <laughs> Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking sky drive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place... Eva, what the... <laughs> God, what a big scaredy cat. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is. Know that everything has GPS and all that. Look, river. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure... We'll be able to see her from the window! In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yes, we will. Okay, so it's a lighthouse. Why does the lighthouse mean so much? Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than the any moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. It's sad watching it from going from like you know how it ends? Now we're going back in time and it's Knowing how it ends, it's like, oh, it's not good. Right, let's go and look for some odd things. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouses and you, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river should decline treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. Isn't that a bit too extreme? <laughs> I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but um, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Okay. So, um, I mean the lighthouse. I guess we're gonna find out why the lighthouse means so much to us soon. Oh, hello again. <laughs> That's them going to the lighthouse. Right. Um, we need two more orbs. Where are they? There we go. Let's go back. There we go. There. Another rabbit, and this should take five turns. Hmm, right, so it's going to be another tricky one. So if we do that one. Oof. Try that and that. And then. Oh, we haven't got a dino. Oh, could we just. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press it. Oh, God. Sorry, I didn't mean to. That took a long time. <laughs> like 28 times. 29 tries even. Whoops. That was a bad one. Riffle? I wonder how far back we're going to go. Oh, we have to go back to his childhood, don't we? Because he's gone downstairs. 
Hello. Whoa. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Uh huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And... Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. It's... is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... do you? Perhaps. Who knows? Is she well, what's her condition? That is another secret. But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paying for over with. Oh, well, oh, I don't know what's wrong with that. So, this is the day she started it, huh? Hmm. Oh, that's what we have to break, okay. Stop. Look at the bucket. Many long strands of orange hair. Um, okay. She went for a haircut and then brought the hair back? New boxes of plain paper. Uh oh, I think I know where this is going. Mm hmm. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get it through its door. That's true. <laughs> TARDIS only has a little door. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pen for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. I think I'd pass on that Doctor Who episode, thank you. We'll stick to the aliens. Let's see if we could do this one in three this time. And three, yes. <laughs> Sometimes they're just a bit tricky. Let's activate the platypus. 